Today, a face-off in court in southern Indiana. Families who are suing the owner of a Jeffersonville, Indiana funeral home got to see him in person for the first time about the 31 decomposing bodies and 16 sets of cremated remains left sitting in the funeral home. I felt like I was numb and it was just a bad dream that I couldn't wake up from. Those lawsuits are now playing out in Clark County Superior Court. WHS 11's Grace McKenna has more on what was said to the judge. Outside of the courtroom today, Mr. Lankford didn't offer any comment to our questions, but he did answer the questions of a judge as he appeared under oath for the first time today. I have no comment at this time. Okay. That the only word from Randy Lankford today after an emergency hearing aimed at preserving evidence in the case against his funeral home. To handle any civil lawsuit, we have to have certain documents and we got to make sure that they're not destroyed. A judge ordered Lankford to preserve any business records he has and not to delete emails dating back to 2021. Attorney Larry Wilder representing the families in the lawsuit said Lankford's statement suggested he had insurance that could pay out to the victims. No way to compensate them for the losses of their loved one and for the pain and anguish that they're experiencing. After Tuesday's hearing, Wilder doesn't believe Langford showed remorse. I think he's a sociopath. I think he showed zero emotion, and people who show no emotion certainly lack emotion. Langford still hasn't been charged with a crime, though Wilder said he told the court he has secured a criminal lawyer. This hearing focusing on the lawsuit and the families who came to court Tuesday. Just the same the day, it was like. I spoke to him on the phone and he, to put everything together, you look at hindsight, you can see that he's full. So far, Wilder said he's heard from dozens of people searching for answers. The 47 pieces of demonstrative evidence that are maintained in that facility are one set of stories. Those families hoping to finally lay their loved ones to rest. Now, it's still unclear if or when any criminal charges could be filed. That's going to be up to the county prosecutor's office. In Jeffersonville, Grace McKenna, WHAS 11, on your side.